Hi there, my name's Caitlin and I'm a PhD student at the University of Warwick and I'm partly funded by Cerebra. So today I'd like to tell you about my first PhD study which used data from the Cerebra Thousand Families study. So lots of other research studies tend to focus on relationships between two members of the family, so for example the child with a learning disability and their mother. So the aim of our study was to explore how a mother, a child with a learning disability and a sibling may influence each other. So we used data from wave one of the 1000 Family study, which collected information regarding mother's mental health and the behavioural problems of the sibling and the child with a learning disability in 573 families. So we found that higher levels of maternal distress were associated with increased behaviour problems in the sibling and more behaviour problems in the child with a learning disability were associated with increased maternal distress. Finally, higher levels of household poverty were associated with negative outcomes in all three family members. Our findings demonstrate that different family members' well-being interrelates in families of children with a learning disability, and this suggests that introducing interventions that target behaviour problems of the child with a learning disability may improve other family members' outcomes. Additionally, further support should be considered for families of children experiencing household poverty. So lastly, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone that took part in the Cerebra Thousand Family Study, because without you, this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you very much.